We get set and ready to go racing. What do you say, race fans? You ready to do this six times for the American Modified Series Modifieds? Into three and off of four. Heat one of six. Underway. Casey's Modified Nationals, heat number one officially underway. 77 to Ray Bollinger, gonna jump to the race lead. Three to Jeff Leak, a second, here comes the two, and Nick Hoffman, they're looking to go three wide in the opening line. Nick Hoffman down to the inside, Leak in the middle. Ray Bollinger in the top, three wide up into number four, down the front straight away. Now the back straight away, Leak, gonna show the way, here comes Bollinger now. Bumper to bumper with your race leader. They're all gonna run down to the inside. It'll be Leak and Bollinger and Nick Hoffman. We'll see if anybody steps to the top side. All right, now, nobody's gonna do it. Oh, we're at the bottom of the speedway. Jeff Leica continues to show the way. Bollinger second and a Kaufman third. It comes Dean Hoffman in one D now. Trying to get something done. Two in the books, eight to go. Now the front straightaway Leica, Bollinger, Nick Hoffman and the 22. All right, now you're top four. Dean Hoffman trying to put on a show on the high side on the back straightaway. They go three in the books, seven to go. Now the back straightaway. Jeff Leica continues to show the way. Ray Bollinger, second to Hoffman, third the battle for that four spot. Dean Hoffman in one D to the outside of 22 of Josh Harris. Harris shuts the door on him. Good battle for that four spot. Back up front, Jeff Lincoln continues to show the way. Now Josh Harris gonna step to that outside. Five in, five to go. Track starting to slick off. We'll see if Josh Harris can get her going in car number 22 down the back straightaway. Harris, now the first caution of the evening comes out. Promise for Tyler nicely in car number 25. five and we'll see what happens in these modified B mains later on tonight we're gonna work through six heats first here we go back at our way let's see if that top side comes in Josh Harrison double deuce gonna go to the outside he's got a bit on Nick Hoffman surprise surprise here we go with a restart Josh Harris your current point of the of the American modified series in the outside of Jeff Leek and Leek is there now Leek slides up in front of comes to a Nick Hoffman, thought about it going to the high side as well. Six in the books, four to go. Here comes Josh Harris down the back straight away. Bumper to bumper with Jeff Leica. For the runner-up spot, look at Josh Harris go. Two transfer. Could it be Josh Harris to the outside of Jeff Leica? Leica going to slam the door in his face. Josh Harris is right there, though. They're all chasing Ray Bollinger. Josh Harris for the runner-up spot. Who's going to make it? Jeff Leica again will shut the door. Harris is getting agitated. That's not a washing machine, by the way. Off of four down the front straight away. Josh Harris now going to go to second. Harris now gonna go to second. Two to go this time by, he's not done yet. He'll dispose of Leica down the back straight away. The high side, hooked up and all, and we'll see if Nick Hoffman can get going as well. 77 to Ray Bollinger, here comes Nick Hoffman now. On that high side, the white flag's out, one to go. Down the back straight away, Josh Harris trying to win it. Can he do it down the back straight away? Bollinger gonna hold him off. Oh, Nick Hoffman and Leica are hooked together. They're hooked together, will we throw a yellow? They'll come down to the... Caution is out, are you kidding me? Oh, the caution comes out. So it affected Strimmy and Troy, or Dean Hoffman, the caution comes out. Wow, one to go. Hoffman. <laughs> Look at Leek and Hoffman trying to time it just right. Here we go, Green's back out. Top two transfer, can Dean Hoffman on the final lap do it? Down the back straightaway. Jeremy trying to protect, Josh Harris trying to protect. Checkered flags coming out, your winner's gonna be Ray Bollinger, second get her to Josh Harris, third will get a Dean Hoffman, fourth to David Strimmy. So there you go, race fans, your top two qualifiers. Well, we'll go through top four. David Strimmy comes home fourth, Dean Hoffman third, second. And going to the A-Main, how about a nice round of applause for Josh Harris out of Utica, Kentucky, and your winner. Going to the redraw in car number 77 out of Kewanee, Illinois. Let's hear it for Ray Bollinger. So a wild heat race number one to start the evening. Top two coming up next, Brent Mullins out of Mount Olive, Illinois, and alongside the 96. It'll be Mike McKinney on a plane field. Devin Gilpin out of Columbus, Indiana in car number one G and alongside Michael Long in a Highland, Illinois in car number oh 18. Mike McKinney, been awful strong here at Falls. 41 of Brent Mullins has been awful good as well here in the past. Devin Gilpin a surprise. 
Glad to see him here in 18 to Michael Long. Here we go, Green's out. Racing once again, Mike McKinney. Look at Mullen slides up in front of McKinney to take the top spot away, and Devin Gilpin's going to go by and bowl a big slider on the 41 Emma Brent Mullins. Here comes McKinney. Here comes Michael Long. The caution comes out. I don't know if they like the start or Blake Thompson stopped in the back straight away. The caution comes out. Problems for Blake Thompson in car number seven. So problems for Blake Thompson. Try it again. Seven, Brent the ones in 41 M96 to Mike McKinney. One G at Evan Gilpin in the 18 to Michael Long. Now where do you go? Higher or low? Here we go. Try it again. This time Mike McKinney going to run right in the middle of the speed. Here comes Michael Long on the outside. Devin Gilpin to the inside on the back straightaway. Two transfer. McKinney to the outside. Devin Gilpin to the inside. Britt Mullins going to lead him off at turn number four. Down the front straightaway will be Britt Mullins. Show on the way, but here comes Mike McKinney. Mike McKinney trying to rock and roll on that high side of the outside of Britt Mullins. Down to the outside of Devin Gilpin. He's going to take second. Looks down the back straightaway. Oh, baby. Mike McKinney, as good as they get on that high side, he's got the race lead off at turn number four. Down the front straightaway. That evens with Brent Mullins. Mullins going to throw a slider at him. McKinney going to cross him back over. Patented slide job. That's how you do it. We'll see if they try it again. Now Mullins going to try in the middle of the speedway. McKinney's going to jump to the outside. They're going to work side by side. Oh, and a slider from Gilpin. He'll go to third. New race leaders, Mike McKinney. Michael Long back to fifth as Chris Smith's gone by. So 11th starter, Chris Smith from 11th to fourth. Here comes Michael Long. Here comes Jeff Curl. But the right up against the cushion is where Mike McKinney's looking good. He's showing the way. Mullins second, Gilpin third, Smith fourth. Good battle behind of him. That'll be Chris Smith in 15. Michael Long in 18. Jeff Curl in 12. Three, four car battle. Here comes Trent Young in 10. Y. All behind your race leader, Mike, Michael McKinney, off at turn number four. Five of the books, five to go. Brent Mullins in that second spot. Here comes Devin Gilpin. Gilpin trying to reel him in at third down the back straight away. Brent Mullins isn't done yet. He's going to drive down to the inside. The Mullins powering 41 in for the race lead. Side by side with Mike McKinney. We got a race. Four to go. Six in, four to go, and Andy here at Falls. McKinney slips up, Mullins can't take advantage on the back straightaway. He's better in three and four. McKinney gonna go high, Mullins gonna go low. Side by side as they work into three and off at turn number four. McKinney continues to show the way the dirt track and have team elite. Vallejo Incorporated, car number 96, him a tick two type. Mullins just can't quite reel him in the battle for that four spot. Jeff Curl gonna go around Michael Long. So Curl to fourth, Long to fifth, Chris Smith, Trent Young, uh, Michael Thayer, and the 99 to Jimmy Dame, two to go. McKinney continues to dominate here in Bash Shaft, C number two, down the back straightaway. Mullen second, Gilpin third, good battle for fourth. White flags out, one to go. McKinney continues to dominate. Mullen second, Gilpin third, Curl, and Michael Long. Long hammers the cushion. Curl trying to go by down to the inside. They're going to work door to door. Final time, into three and off of four. Going to the redraw, winning heat two. It is Mike McKinney. Second will go to Brent Mullins. Third will go to Gilpin. Fourth goes to Michael Long. Fifth goes to Jeff Curl. Sixth goes to Trent Young. So Michael Long comes home fourth. Fifth to Curl. Sixth to Trent Young in 10Y. Back stretch out of Plainfield. The Team Elite Vallejo Incorporated Dirt Track and App 96. Sam up with a nice round of applause winning Fash Apps. He's number two, Mike McKinney. So two up, four, or two down, four to go now. Heat number three. We're going to move right along here at the Fairbury American Legion Speedway. Hypercoil is a big sponsor out of Waterville, Michigan. Kurt Spalding in 1-1-1. 24-H out of Highland, Mike Harrison. Huntersville, North Carolina. Car number 21, that'll be Taylor Cook. Verona, Kentucky's 11. Is Josh Rock. Once again, I want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Jan Friedman, happy birthday, Jan Friedman. Kara Friedman, happy birthday. Here on the front stretch. There we go. Oh, and Taylor Cook gets in way too hot and heavy. And he's got to go to the tail either way. Might as well park it. Caution going to come out. As Mike Harrison jumped to the race lead, but the caution comes out. He may have a flat tire. Problems for Taylor Cook all the way from Huntersville, North Carolina. He's got a flat tire in the opening lap. Oh, man. So problems for car 21. Taylor Cook's got Super a flat tire. Car number 4411 to Zane And the 11 to Roger Cavanis. Here we go. Green's back out. Spalding trying to protect that middle group. Harrison trying to go high. Here comes Josh Rice. Oh, and now Ryan Unziger spinning in turns three and four. Caution to come back out again. 
Hammer down. Oh, hold on to her, Mike. The caution's coming out, buddy. So. <laughs> Fans, we're back underway. So Luke Lee going to slide up in front of Alan Weiser, but I, Alan Weiser is going to make the pass around the outside. Here comes Matt Cooper at 18. Here comes the one of Brian Shaw. They work down the back straight, almost three wide for the race lead. Caution out. So caution out. Four driver on the back straightaway. There we go. Apologize, did not see Matt that Cooper driver. in 18. Two transfer, 11 cars, 10 laps, soft four. Here we go. And Alan Weiser, Luke Lee. Now Weiser, Dana Diamond off the corner as the 18 slips up a Matt Cooper. He falls all the way back to the seventh, the big slider from Alan Weiser. Lucas Lee trying to hold the top spot, but Alan Weiser's got it. Brian Shaw going to work down to the inside. They're looking to go three wide for the race lead. Lucas Lee may not be done with the 25 of Alan Weiser, but they're going to worry about the 1S of Brian Shaw on the back straightaway. Oh my, about Brian Shaw here tonight. The 1S, the Fox Shocks. Car number 1S on the press right away. Gonna go to second. Big shout out to Ted Brown's quality paint and body 1S. A big slider from Brian Shaw. Luke Lee back to second, back to third now. So Lucas, oh, and Lucas Lee in trouble in 12. He broke going into turn three and the caution comes out.
problems for the 12 of Lucas Lee's lucky didn't flip over as he has broke something on the uh, car number 12 the driver to Paris Tennessee broke he almost flipped over and he will have to come to a stop he'll need a hook here we go race fans Brian Shaw gonna set the pace back underway now so Alan Weiser, car number 25, did not get the jump he wanted. Brian Shaw's going to lead him down the back straightaway. Here comes the 18 of Matt Cooper. Where did Matt Cooper come from? He fell all the way to the back early on, but here he is. The driver to McKenzie, Tennessee, very fast. The car number 18, Alan Weiser going to the outside. Down to the inside is Matt Cooper. Again, Cooper fell all the way back to seventh a couple laps ago, but here he is running that transfer. spot up to number four down the front straightaway. Alan Weiser going to hold it, though. Alan Weiser going to hold second. Now they're all working down to the inside, except for 73 of Ashley Newman back here in the fifth spot. Right behind him is Bob Pullman as they work into three. And off at turn number four, Brian Shaw continues to share the way. He's very fast here this evening. Alan Weiser trying to hold off McKenzie, Tennessee's 18 of Matt Cooper down the back straightaway. Cooper wants the transfer spot right now. A Dog's got it. A good battle for second. And he tries to work down to the inside, but to 25 of Alan Weiser holding him off. Three to go this time by. Three laps remain for the Robinson, Illinois driver, Brian Shaw. He looks very good here tonight in car 1S. Uh, McKenzie, Tennessee's Matt Cooper right there in car number 18. They'll work into turn three and off of turn four. They'll come down for two to go signal. Two laps to go. Matt Cooper cannot pull the string. Down the back straightaway. Alan Weiser second, Matt Cooper third. Good run for the nine car. Tommy CC's fourth. Ashley Newman fifth. White flags out. One to go for Brian Shaw. Alan Weiser trying to hold on. Down the back straightaway. In the three and off of four. Robinson, Illinois. Brian Shaw wins heat number four. Second will go to Alan Weiser. Third will go to the 18 of Matt Cooper. So out of East Peoria, Illinois, in car number 25, how about it for Alan Weiser? And you're winning the Snyder Farms, Ted Brown's quality paint and body, 1S. How about a nice round of applause, Fox Shocks, a big sponsor as well, and a Robinson, Illinois. All around great guy. Let's hear it for Brian Shaw. Heat number five coming up. Summit Racing Equipment, heat number five. The Dr. Danny Schwartz in 21D. Kenny Walsh, the Herminator in car number 36. Well, it'll be Danny Schwartz. Could it be Kenny Walsh? Could it be Peyton Harlow? Could it be 2% of Nick Club? We're going to find out. Ten laps. Here we go. E number five, Summit Racing Equipment. E number five on our way down the back straightaway. Kenny Walsh going to look for the race lead around the outside of Danny Schwartz. Schwartz, uh, a feature winner here earlier this year at Fairbury American Legion Speed. We're going to look for the race lead of their side by side over to number four down the front straightaway. Side by side, Kenny Wall is going to take the race lead. Danny Schwartz back to second, Peyton Harlow third. Whoa, Sean Horseman to car number 54 gets upset. Here comes Tyler Nybert. Nybert at 84, looking to make it three wide. Whoa, not a 2% in the club. Battle back there for fourth. Meanwhile, battle for the race lead. Danny Schwartz at 21, 36 to Kenny Wall. Trying to go to the redraw. Slip aside, another back straight away with a race. Here in number five. Kenny Wall to the outside, he slips up. Danny Schwartz going to go by in 21D. So Schwartz at 21D, down to the race lead, three in the book, seven to go. We'll see if Kenny Wallace can rebound and come back to the front. Here he comes on the back straight away in the two of the racing development. You know, H car number 36. Works right in the middle of the speedway, but Danny Schwartz very fast here tonight. Schwartz and his father's 21S machine showing the way. Four in the book, six to go. It'll be Danny Schwartz, Kenny Wallace, Peyton Harlow, John Clippinger, Tyler Dybert, 2% of Nick Club, the 48 of Mike Spatula. Five in, five to go this time by. See if Kenny Walsh can reel in your race leaders. Five in, five to go. Danny Schwartz continues to share the way. We'll see if Kenny Walsh can reel him in. Schwartz showing the way. 
Down the back straight away. Wallace second. He's those two drivers pulling away from Peyton Harlow in 155. Clippinger running in fourth. Fifth is Tyler Dybert up on the high side. Three to go. Annie Schwartz continues to show the way. Tyler Dybert at 84. John Clippinger battle it out for fifth. That's where the action's at. Excuse me for fourth. Two to go. Schwartz has led all but one lap. The opening lap was led by Kenny Wass. The other nine have been led by Danny Schwartz, and it looks like he's going to lead the final one. He'll work into three. Or excuse me, into one and two, down the back straightaway. How about this? He's going to the redraw. Goes wire to wire. Summit Racing Equipment. He raised number five winner, Danny Schwartz. Second will go to Kenny Walsh. Third will go to Peyton Harlow. Fourth to Tyler Dybert. Fifth to 16, John Clippinger. So as they come across the scales back stretch or come towards the scales back stretch, coming home second. And the Toyota Racing Development, car number 36 out of St. Louis, Missouri. Kenny Wallace going to the Casey's Modified Nationals, coming home second. And your winner out of Ashmore, Illinois, the second generation driver in 21S. How about a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to Danny Schwartz. What a run for the 21S here tonight. And the Mark Bush Racing Car 21S. Again, heartbreak one night ago as he broke the 21D machine. He gets into his father's 21S machine. He wins heat number five, and he's in the redraw. Good run for Danny Schwartz here tonight. See if anybody gets that top side going once again. It was working real good in a few of those heats, but kind of dropped off here a little bit. Uh, later on, that bottom groove is awful strong. We'll see what happens here in our final heat race. Heat race number six, presented by Summit Racing Equipment, is green. Dave Weedholder and the 3W of Dylan Woodling down the back straightaway. Woodling going to take the race lead. Here comes Jay Ledford in car number 7L. Who's going to lead lap number one? It'll be the Warsaw Indiana driver, Dylan Woodling, but not by much. Three wide for the third spot down the front straightaway. One S of, or excuse me, the one of Keith Smith, the seven of Jay Ledford, the 18 of Jeffrey Ledford, the car spinning now, 35. It is right out of the caution, it'll come out. Dig it a lap in, one in the books, nine to go. Problems for the 35 of Jason Hastings, that second generation driver out of Kankakee, Illinois. Jason Hastings has brought out a caution on the back straight away. Or can the Ledford boys do it? Who's it going to be? Weed Holder in 0-5 as fast as lightning. A night ago, can he repeat here this evening? Green's back out. We're back in our way. Weed Holder now going to go to the outside of Dylan Woodling in 3W and down the back straight away. Frank Marshall in car number 28. The AK Levi Kissinger's on the move as well in that high side. We'll see if we get her going. Down the front straight away to be Weed Holder Woodling. Here comes the AK Levi Kissinger. Kissinger looks at the outside of Jay Ledford for the four spot. Meanwhile, good action down the back straight away. Down the front straightaway, Dylan Woodling down to the inside of Dave Weedholder for the race lead. They're looking to go three wide for four down the front straightaway. Good battle for the race lead. Dylan Woodling's going to take it away from Dave Weedholder. Frank Marshall slips up. Levi Kissinger for fourth. 18 of Jeffrey Ledford's caught the lead duo. Good racing action here in our final heat race. He race number six. Down the front straightaway they go. It'll be Dylan Woodling showing the way. Dave Weedholder second, Jeffrey Ledford third, but here comes Levi Kissinger, the driver to Mount Vernon, Illinois, is the man on the move in 8K. Five to go this time by. Halfway home, five of the books, five to go. Here comes Jeffrey Ledford now digging out of the inside of Weedholder, trying to make the show. He's side by side. Dave Weedholder in 0-5. 18 of Jeffrey Ledford looking to put the car in the show in the Mullins. Powered Mark Bush racing 18. He's got it. Yes. Jeffrey Ledford now going to go to second. Three wide for fourth behind of him. Kissinger open for a caution at this point. Gabe Mincer pulling to the infield. So problems for Gabe Mincer. Three to go this time by. Three to go. Dylan Woodlake showing the way. Left for a second. Weedholder third. Fourth will be the 8K Levi Kissinger. Two to go this time by. Kissinger on the move. Hoping for a caution. The white flag going to come out next time by. Two laps to go for Dylan Woodlake. Jeffrey Ledford slips up. Weedholder can't take advantage of Levi Kissinger now. White flag the next time by. Down the back straight away they go. Dylan Woodley showing the way. Jeffrey Ledford second. Here comes 8K Levi Kissinger. The battle for third is on. Final lap. One to go for the Top Motorsports. 3W team lethal as well. They'll work 
second and two down the back straightaway. Clean and green. Here comes Kissinger for the third spot on the final lap. He's got it. Levi Kissinger now to third. Final time off four out of Warsaw, Indiana. Your winner, Dylan Woodling. Ledford will come home second. What a run for Kissinger. Give him third. Yes. What a run. So top two transfer, but how about third place? A.K. Levi Kissinger comes home third. What a run that gentleman had. Second, he's going to the show of the Mark Bush Racing. Mullins Power, Joan Bullard Realty, car number 18. How about it for Jeffrey Ledford? Ledford in the show in the top motorsports. Gertie Race Engines car 3W at a Warsaw, Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for Dylan Woodling, your winner. So Dylan Woodling going to the redraw, along with Danny Schwartz, Brian Shaw, Mike Harrison, 